for data summary, there, there's, you can do simple summaries, for some simple procedures just to get out simple summary statistics. And there's some fairly sophisticated ones that allow you to summarise the data oh. in a very tailor-made format. And a nice facility in SAS, and this goes for both summary summarising data and for analysis, is everything you get out of SAS you can put into a new data set and then further manipulate it. So I find that quite useful. So I'm going to illustrate some of the SAS procedures using a data set. This data was recorded from Celligent's machine. I don't know a great deal about it except that there were samples of cells and they were given different what we might call treatments. So there were six different treatments and the machine measured a signal at lots and lots of time points. Lots of time it, it measured this signal and each of these colours is a different treatment that is the means of the, um, for each of the treatments at each time point. So this is the data after some manipulation, so I won't go into the, how it was manipulated just now. So we've got a code, sort of A, B, C, D for treatments. This is just the first bit of a data set, it's a very large data set. The ID for the sample, that's the sample that's taken. Time is categorised, so we've got these time measurements um, which are very sort of exact, there's lots, of, I think it's probably done in uh, hours, but you, we're going to try and categorise that because we've got really too many observations taken on each sample, so we've, I've created this um, time category, so it's, it's naught for hours, naught to six, hours six to twelve, it's six, so that's just a categorising variable, that's the exact time, the signal measurement, and then we've cr I've created a, a rate of change, how quickly that signal is changing from one time point to the next. So positive is if it's increasing, negative. Otherwise, um, this one here is slightly decreased. So I'd just uh, look very quickly at some of the um, summary procedures. SAS works with things called procedures, and they're all sort of called PROC, short for procedures, PROC something. And they have very sort of in, you know, names that are easily understood. So you can usually tell by the name of the procedure what it's likely to do. So prop means will calculate means and various other things like medians, standard errors, anything um, really you can imagine from within groupings of the data and it can save that to a new data set. Proc univariate gives you more detailed summary statistics. Um, you can get quantiles, confidence intervals, um, various other things from Proc univariate. Proc freak is for getting out frequency summary statistics, and you can also do stati basic statistical tests such as the chi squared test and Fisher's exact test with that procedure. And then Proc tabulates a, a surprisingly powerful procedure. It produces summary statistics in tables and you can customise these in any way, you know, various ways and, and get your means by sort of any categorisation. So it's, that's a useful procedure.